I can remember a time at Rockwood when I was still farming with um, cattle and sheep and goats, uh, where I sat outside at night and, you know, looking at the stars, hearing the sheep and the goats and, you know, thinking this could have been so much better if we had wild animals here again. That's, that's where the, the wildlife or reintroducing wildlife here started. I was always drawn to, say, exotic animals like rhino. I didn't grow up in an area where rhino was natural or what I perceived to be natural. Um, they were hunted to extinction in, in that part of the world 100 years ago. My name is Vikas Diedrichs. I grew up um, on a farm in the Northern Cape, South Africa. Uh, my first memory of the great outdoors or, or nature is basically on the farm uh, at night hearing the jackals far in the, in the distance. I reckon that's where my passion for, for nature uh, started. In 2013, when I bought uh, this land, I decided to, to do something different. Uh, it, it was always this romantic beast that I never saw. I think only about a month before I got the first rhino uh, translocated here, I actually saw the first live rhino. And it was unbelievable, uh, you know, that, that first encounter, the, um, uh, the feelings it, it sort of uh, provoked uh, inside of me. And um, since then, I fell in love with the animals. And now it's, I reckon it's my, my greatest passion. So here at Rockwood, uh, our primary focus is conservation and the general well-being of our animals. It takes quite a lot of effort to protect them. Um, we have a, call it an aggressive strategy to keep them maybe in smaller areas where we can um, protect them better, uh, where we can intensify our efforts. Um, but not only that, uh, we feel very strongly about education and, and also about research. Um, it's, it's very important that we, that we learn about the species. It's, it's such an iconic species, but yet there's, there's so little literature, especially when it comes to uh, keeping them in more intensive uh, operations like we're doing here. In July of 2014, um, my whole life changed. The first rhino was poached here at Rockwood. And it was a very, very emotional experience. It was the first rhino poached in the whole of the Northern Cape province. And, you know, standing next to that animal, uh, after, you know, embracing that animal, caring for it, and um, to see, you know, how it was butchered really touched me. And, um, you know, it, it just made me realize that, that if I don't start uh, making a difference and, you know, not just um, by talking, but really making a difference, really um, uh, changing uh, what is, happening at the moment, we're not going to win this fight. Training is very important. Um, not one of the uh, ranges comes from a military or a traditional nature conservation background. It's all, they were all unemployed people from the vicinity. Um, that we trained, so they, 
there, there's um, a lot of effort went into that. But we also get a lot of return from that because they're absolutely passionate about what they're doing. And Rockwood has become their, their family. And I think that's going to be our success. In total, there's about 50 people working here full time. You know, you can imagine just feeding everybody, taking care of um, all the workers here, takes quite some effort. And then the routine tasks. We are a semi-desert area. And in the past uh, couple of years, we had far below our normal rainfall. And then we have to feed our animals to, to, to get them to survive. So our tagline at Rockwood is live for a change. And it's obviously because we want to make a change um, in the world we live in, but also to live for a change and to enjoy what we're doing and to feel good about what you're doing and um, to leave something behind of what you can be proud of. When you get so close to Rhino and you, you look in their eyes, you see a certain vulnerability. I don't know, they, they almost look sad to me, in a sense. Um, you know, it's, it's these big majestic animals, um, almost with um, sorrow in their hearts. Uh, and it's, it's unbelievable how you could actually see that in their eyes. That's the irony about Rhino. Um, they're such big majestic animals, but yet they're so vulnerable. They've been around for longer that, than humans have been around. And yet, um, if we don't act in our lifetimes, um, they will be extinct. The rhino is almost a metaphor for, for what's happening on Earth. If we don't get this right, there's going to be a lot of other things with much worse consequences that we're also not going to get right. We need to see the social aspect in conservation. Conservation cannot happen without uh, social upliftment and, and I'd almost say integration uh, with humans. In South Africa we've got a very successful model because we um, can own wildlife and therefore wildlife has a value. If we achieve what we set out uh, to achieve and um, to grow our uh, numbers of rhino, we will have the nice dilemma of having to relocate them to new areas. And um, it will be wonderful to move rhino into areas where they've gone extinct. And um, wouldn't it be nice not to save the rhino? Thank you.